In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God, who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the people brought the paralytic to Jesus, they were hoping for a physical healing, that he may walk again, move again. But Jesus will see that the paralysis is not just physical, but, but is spiritual, that he's suffering from sin. Um, and so that's where his emphasis is. That's his priority. Jesus got a different priorities than the men who, who brought this paralytic to him, right? He sees the physical ailment, of course, but he sees something that's more essential, more important. It's his soul. His soul is paralyzed. That kind of healing is more essential. That healing is everything. And so that's why he said, your sins are forgiven, right? He gives him the greatest, the greatest healing that, 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 that he could probably ask for. Beyond just the mere physical, because sometimes we ask for too little. We, we think so superficially. We think very, um, based on, very central, based on the senses, right? But see, Jesus looks deeper. He knows that the soul is more important, that his soul needs to be, to be cleansed, to be healed. And so he said, your sins are forgiven. But then the scribes and the Pharisees starts to grumble and think to themselves that he's blaspheming. And then he knows their thoughts and he said, well, just to show you that I, that I have the authority to forgive sins and that I did forgive his sins, I'm going to say rise and walk, which is easy, which is not as important as the soul. And so he did. And so they were amazed. But let us too examine ourselves and our priorities. We tend to be too concerned with the body, the physical, the senses. You know, during this pandemic now, so many people are still terrified, afraid to go back to church, for example. The, the government has allowed us to have at least 100 people inside the church during Mass. But many of our Masses, we have less than 100 people. People are not coming back. They're afraid or they're indifferent or... Uh, but but, um, but the, the, they, their prior, priorities are not the same as Jesus, right? They should be thinking about their soul and, and not so much about the physical. Of course, we're careful and prudent and all that. But, but don't get swept up by all the media because their priorities are different than our priorities. We're Catholic, right? We see beyond the physical, right? So the, 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 the media, the culture is very secular. They don't talk about the soul. They don't talk about God. They don't talk about eternity. They talk just more sensual, more superficial things on the surface. Yeah, of course we take care of our bodies, but our soul is more essential. So we need to align our priorities with that of Jesus. That is our soul our holiness, our eternal life with God, and not get caught up or paralyzed by fear of harm to the body. I see lay people, I even see priests who are consecrated to God for the salvation of souls, being terrified, being debilitated, being paralyzed by fear, locking themselves up in their room, not going out and ministering for fear of catching something. My goodness, right? Where are our priorities? Where are our values? Where are our principles? Are they the same as Jesus, or are they worldly? So I ask you, let us reprioritize. Let us align our priorities, our values, with that of Jesus. And know that the, the body will turn to dust, it will decay, it will pass, but the soul lives on forever. And let us take advantage of the sacraments and, and focus, not so much on the body, but on the soul.